The following slides that I'm going to cover uh, for each of the safety relay modules available through Banner with some brief info on what types of safety inputs are typically connected to them, as well as info on specifications and wiring. Okay, for monitoring safety input devices having redundant, normally closed safety contacts within, such as e-stops, gate interlock switches, mechanical hinge switches, rope pulls, limit switches, that type of thing. These two 24-volt uh, AC-DC models are cost-effective self-checking modules with, with settings for auto or manual reset. The ES FA-9AA has three normally open contact paths available rated at 6 amps. The ESFA-11A, that has two normally open contacts rated at 7 amps plus a normally uh, closed auxiliary contact that's also rated at 7 amps. These can be used for enunciation of the module state taking the connection back to a PLC or a warning light, for example. Other safety modules used for this purpose include the ES-UA-5A with power options including 115 volts AC or 12 volts to 24 volts DC. It has four normally open safety output paths rated at 6 amps plus three non-safety auxiliary outputs so that you can take that enunciation again through to a PLC or whatever the case may be here. Uh, within that same exact output wiring choices is the uh, as the ESUA, we have the ES-VA-5A, which has power options for 230 volts AC plus the 12 volt to 24 volt DC. All right, next. The UM-FA-9A, as well as the UM-FA-11A, have similar safety and auxiliary contact choices with manual or automatic reset. As explained with the ES-FA-9A and the uh, ES-FA-11A, however, a big difference is that these two modules can be used to monitor a wide variety of safety and non-safety input choices. Not only used for dual channel monitoring of hard uh, relay contacts found in mechanical e-stops and door interlocks, but also, uh, but also the selection to be, uh, can be made to be able to monitor 24 volt DC solid state PNP outputs from optical devices such as light curtains or a laser scanner, or even specific model types of our non-contact RFID switches. Okay. To set up the module for either hard contacts using four input terminals or selecting the optical two-channel PNP type inputs that are used on light curtains, for example, the uh, wiring uh, to just, uh, in that case, the wiring is just going to go to two terminals if it happens to be the PNP output. But you can access the redundant toggle switches by removing the bottom terminal block, then move both of the uh, switches to the opposite positions. Once the change is made, the terminal block is reinserted. <laughs> 